Hey guys, Mitchell here, and welcome to another Let's Play. Um, this game happens to be, um, Dark Cloud, hang on. Testing, testing, one, two, three, yeah, that doesn't necessarily work, this thing isn't really reactive. But, um, this game is, well, Dark Cloud. Um, it's a very different RPG kind of game. Kind of game? It is an RPG, what am I saying? But more like action-adventure-esque. But there are RPG mechanics behind it. Um, first and foremost, let's go ahead and check out the options really quick to make sure. No, that's fine. Uh, that's great, actually. That's fine. That's fine. Time frame reset speed of time advancement. I think that's fine. Map display density. I think that's all fine. We're not going to really fiddle with it. But, um, before we go ahead and start a new game, let me just say, this game is very incredible to say the least it's I don't know it, it's something about it it's like when you're not playing it you just think yeah I'll it's a good game but when you start playing it you just can't put the damn controller down but um <laughs> we went away from an introductory cutscene which was like a slew of actual in-game cutscenes so those are a bunch of semi spoilers thankfully no plot is given away however we're going to jump into yet another cutscene and the reason why I picked this game to Let's Play Next is because there is, like, literally no voice acting. And with the easy cap, that means you don't hear, like, any excruciating, um, like, white noise behind their speaking. However, with the Hop Hog, it's not there. <laughs> I, I gotta say, it's not there. This, it's got great sound quality, so I don't really have to worry about it when there are sound clips. But, either way, let's go ahead and hit start. A book was found in some old ruins. All the scholars who decoded it puzzled over the mystery of the book. A world with two moons illuminating the sky. The many dazzling adventures of a young boy. But whether or not this is a true story... Do you believe in the story woven in the book? Maybe it's a fantasy that existed only in a boy's heart. Let me tell you this story. This ancient book tells of a magical and magnificent fairy tale. And the hero of this wondrous tale, whose name is... And we get to enter our very first character's name. The character is originally named Tawan, which... That's a good name. And the key thing is, is that... This is the main character, and everybody renames him, including myself. However, you, you, I usually can't come up with any clever names for anybody else. However, I don't necessarily like the name Tuan. I might refer to him as that, but for now, um, let's name him Harry. I'm kidding. I, I calm the hell down. I know I'm ripping off Necroscope. Jesus Christ. I don't have to get all pissy about it. Actually, excuse my language. This game is like only rated T, and I'm <laughs> using language reserved for rated M games. I'm sorry. Um, I'm half tempted to name him after myself, but that is not okay. And Michael is just I'm overusing it at this point. Um, let's let's use the other name. Nathan. That works. The Dark Shrine. Ooh. That's an interesting place to start. Alright, this takes quite a while, and I'll try to stay quiet for most of it until there's dialogue. You've gathered quite a few of them. I had a hard time finding dancers with the right qualifications. Look at them. They're dancing blood. 
Mixing the blood of witches with that of humans is the key to breaking the seal. However, I, I do have some problems. Problems? In order to procure good material, you need adequate... I see. I'll pay you extra. That should solve your problem, huh? Yes, sir. Thank you. So, when will it happen? Very soon, sir. Let us enjoy the ceremony until it's time. Sir, do you know the legend of the Dark Genie Seal Naren? Of course. How much money do you think I've put in acquiring this urn? I've been waiting for this for years, and now its legendary power is mine. It was 400 years ago, the Genie of Darkness appeared in the East, and with its evil power, the world was burned away. What do you intend to do with such frightening power in your hands? We'll see. Now is the time. Yes, sir. So it seems. What? This... the genie? How can this be? Well, it's quite different than I imagined. Dark Genie. This is it. Hey! Who are you guys? Welcome back, Genie of Darkness. I broke the seal and released you. Therefore, I am your master. Oh, was that right? Whatever. Fine. <laughs> that... That's right! I haven't eaten in 400 years. I have eaten something. I need food. Food. Got you. Huh? What? Ah, stop it! Help! Hate my acting skills yet? You will by the end of this. Hi, how are you today? Nathan, it's already started. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Nathan, it's already started. Come on, let's go. See, I told you you should have hurried. Come on, we're late. I'm a staff me member this year, so I have to go. Sorry. Oh, she left you, Nathan. Hurry up.
Look at the insects squirm about. Start there. <laughs> Nathan! Ow. Am I dead? I must be. Hi there. Can you hear me? Open your eyes. Wake up! Hey! Jeez, don't have to yell. Who are you? <clears throat> I am the Fairy King. I am the entity that unites all of nature's spirits. Listen well, young one. Something bad has happened. Men blinded by greed have revived the Dark Genie. This Dark Genie is terribly powerful. Its power is so great that it could destroy the entire world. You saw it. Your own village being destroyed right before your eyes. Not just your village. In a flash, many villages and towns were destroyed. In one night, half your world was annihilated. Well, snap, son! What can I do? It must be the men from the east that performed the resurrection ceremony. Probably thinking to use its black demon power for war without realizing how frightening it is. It is darkness. Pure darkness itself. Long ago, the so called Dark Genie almost destroyed the entire world. Its malevolence is that great. The bad thing is that it has some same type of magical power as us, spirits. Unfortunately, we aren't powerful enough to destroy it. Young man, I see that you have a strong will that could withstand the evil power, and also a clear, kind heart. You might be able to fight against the darkness it generates. I decide to stake our fate on you. Let me bless you with power. Well, that's cool, but what's it, what's it for? There. Surprised? It's called Atlamilla. Atlamilia. It's a stone with a magical power. Oh, don't look that way, boy. I'll explain now. It might get too bright for your eyes for a moment. Okay, so I'm not dead. But where's... Do you know where this is? This is no sim simple empty lot. This was your village. But do not lose heart. As long as you have that stone, you can return it to its original form. You see, just before the village was destroyed by that genie, I saved the buildings and people by sealing them into spheres called Atla. It seems those Atla were scattered all around by its tremendous magical power. They were probably blown to different places around the world probably thinks everything is destroyed. You must restore the world before it realizes what happened. Absorb that which I sealed in Atla using that Atlamilia and bring them back. Then you'll be able to destroy the destroy? Restore the world to its original form. You may even be able to create an even better world than before. Neato. You don't seem to understand anything I'm saying. No, no, I do! Oh well, I'll give you another lesson when you acquire some Atla. You'll learn to hate this man. So long. Yeah, thanks for the help, buddy. Nathan, can you hear them? You should be able to hear them. Voices of the wind, voices of the trees, of the animals. They are all calling for your help. Nathan, you'll probably meet and say goodbye to many people. 
unknown. In talking to these people, you may receive clues to defeating the darkness. Look for them. Now, Nathan, your adventure will begin. First, go to the village chief's house. He'll show you where to go next. And after literally 20 minutes of cutscenes, we finally get control. Well, not literally 20 minutes, but very close. So, here we are. Um, <laughs> that's probably the only flaw of this game, is the cutscenes are very long. And in fact, the tutorial is even worse. But either way, first things first, said to interact with the village chief, and this is the only building around, so you would have to assume the village chief is in here, else we're all screwed. Hello, anybody home? No. Ah! Nathan, you're alive! Seems like we're the only ones in the village that survived. Never dreamed this happened. One night and our village is gone. Can you believe this, Nathan? I feel so helpless. I, the mayor of the village, can't do anything about it. What am I supposed to do now? Uh, I don't know. Moan the whale? I guess the only thing we can do is to get help from the guardian of Norun Village, Dron. Dron will not abandon us. He'll help us for sure. I have a favor to ask, Nathan. Go to the Divine Beast Cave and tell Dron what happened. Divine Beast Cave is that cave outside towards the right side, right hand side. You've probably seen it before. I may be imagining things, but I sense something has changed about the cave. Be careful. This is the cave key. All right. I put the things you might need in your bag for you. Don't get carried away. If you get in trouble in there, come back here. I'll give you more supplies. Good luck. And he's true about that. Either way, if you check in here... A spiky bug's coming out. And we get a fishing lure. A prickly. There is fishing in this game, but right now we can't do it because we don't have... Either A, the equipment, or B, a fishing hole. I mean, did you see outside? There's not a lick of water out there. Either way, now, what he says is true. If you hit the triangle button, you pull up your menu. This is basically a Japanese RPG, so circle is cancel. Um, X is actually select. Squares to organize. Uh, what we have here is our statistic screen. Um, this is what's shown as equipment, how much power it has. This is your defense. Um, below that is health. Below that is the weapon's HP. Which, as you would assume, that's how much endurance the weapon has. And below that is your water meter. Which, you would assume, just simply means how thirsty a character gets. Um, active items are basically, you can drag and drop items up here. Like, for example, we can drag and drop this bread, which is to restore health. And water, which is to restore the water bar. And then we can also drag this antidote, dr antidote drink up there as well. So that way, whenever we're in a pinch, in other words, poison, we can just drink that. Sadly, it does not restore any of the water bar. Um, right here is the regular bag. It has 50 slots right now. You would think that's a lot, but wait until you see how much items we're going to need to carry along with us. Uh, currently what we have, aside from the bread, water, and antidote, we have escape powder, which will allow you to escape from the dungeon without any problems, really. Um, we have repair powder, which restores the HP of our weapon fully, mind you. It's a full heal for the weapon. We have the cave key, which is a key item. And then we have the prickly, which I said is a fishing lure. Right here are weapons. You can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six sub-slots. That would technically mean we have... Well, first let's show. go ahead and show. We can't place our dagger anywhere else except up top, which in case I'm actually going to put it there. Which means... These eight slots, actually ten slots, now that I see it, these ten slots are specifically for Nathan, which means we're going to run along five additional party members along the way. That's a big spoiler, but it's kind of, it's a glaring fact if we can't place our dagger anywhere else. And then here are attachment slots. I'll get go over those as I go into the weapons menu. But that's about it. The weapons menu. Here you can actually get a little detailed instructions about your weapon statistics, like... Um, the dagger is a wind element, its attack power is 6, its endurance is 30, its speed is 70, and its magic power is 2. Um, what those stats basically mean is attack power is self-explanatory. Endurance, um, that involves around how many swings against an enemy's flesh 
it can take before it eventually breaks. So in other words, it's its defense, so to speak. Speed is how fast um, this thing called a speed bar will refill as you swing the weapon. And then magic power is also self-explanatory. That involves the element that's attached to it. If we go here, we can equip it. We can also customize it, which actually gets into the attachments in which you can add attachments. We'll get into more of that as we equip them. We can look at attributes, which are basically just its elements. Right now, we can only have wind. If we try to equip thunder, ice, fire, or holy, we cannot do that. Fire, obviously, for enemies weak against flame. Same for ice, thunder, wind, and holy. You can kind of guess what each one's for. For right now, I'm going to unequip wind. That's not necessarily needed at this point. If we go ahead and check our statistics in further depth, we can see right here we have sort of deals. Basically what these are, are um, <clears throat> what the weapon is strong against. In other words, here's Anti-Dragon, which is for just basically like lizards and stuff. Anti-Undead, Anti-Marine. Anti-Marine just means anti uh, water monsters. Anti-rock. I think that one would be self-explanatory. It's not like you can mine in this game. This isn't like Minecraft or anything. It just means against rock-based monsters, it is more effective. Anti-plant. Um, against plant monsters. Anti-beast. That one's also self-explanatory. Anti-sky. Against flying monsters. Anti-metal. Metal monsters, which are kind of far and few between, but they are in this game. Anti-mimic. There are mimics in this game, and they are annoying. Um... They're just basically little chest monsters that, when you try to open them, they turn into a monster. Yeah. And then Anti-Mage, which is just basically a mage's worst nightmare. Either way, let's... Um, we can't. We don't have any allies. Georama parts I'll get into as we have Atla. Go outside, which means we can leave this building. Save. That's self-explanatory options. We know what that does. Either way, let's go ahead and head out. I took a while explaining that, but... It's better that I explain it rather than Mr. Fairy King, who's waiting for us in that cave. You may also notice that while out here you saw hit select for edit mode. This is what edit mode is. You can press triangle for Giorama menu. Move replace Giorama analysis, which basically just it gives you a statistical graph based on how close you are to both your collection completion, completing the town, and completing everybody's requests. I'll get into requests, but the other two are kind of self-explanatory. Move, remove, move, self-explanatory. Configure and assembly. Now you can only do configure and assembly in edit mode and inside dungeon, so I wouldn't try it anywhere else. Now, you have 120 slots here, but that is well more than what's necessary. Trust me. Um, if you want to, you can count out how many items we're going to have, but that's also unnecessary. So let's go ahead and plop ourselves down right here. Now, let's go ahead and enter. A big keyhole. Use item square. That's something else. You can't just press X and use the key item. You have to actually press square and do that. And now we're on to our first dungeon. The Divine Beast Cave. Dungeons are very unique in this game. They are actually randomly generated, which I suppose isn't the most unique thing in the world. But, considering this isn't a roguelike, but at the same time sorta kinda is, um, it's, it's different, to say the least. But, let's go ahead and go to the first basement floor. Like I said, Fairy King is waiting for us. It's for real this time, Nathan. From here on, you, you, you will be put to the true test. First conquer this wretched divine beast's cave and find Ron's lair. That's your first goal. Since you're a beginner, I'll give you a lesson on how to find the dungeon. I know how to fight! First, to advance the next floor it's in the dungeon, acquire a gate key for the door leading to the next floor. That just... That's self-explanatory. You, you're going to need that to proceed. Yeah, yeah. Gate key is almost... It, it is always carried by a monster. To return to ground level... <clears throat> there are a couple ways to do that. Either A, use a skate powder, or B kill all the monsters, and somehow telepathically communicate with the Fairy King. Because, see, mind connect. You're telepathically connecting to him. And this diagram shows that he'll return you to surface. However, if there are monsters, you cannot do that. You'll have to use escape powder. And 
you can also mind connect to him at the gate of the next floor. We enter dungeon start at the next level, so don't have to worry about losing weapons. Weapons, um, weapons are breakable. I did explain that. Else you wouldn't have repair powder. Yes, yes, indeed. Longer you use a weapon by repairing, the more magic it absorbs from monsters and thus becomes stronger. That is weapon experience, which is the leveling system of this game, which is not terribly unique, but is fairly unique. Oh, and he casts a spell on our dagger, and it's unbreakable, basically. So that way, we're always equipped with a weapon. And then Sphere Adla, just basically walk up to it and press X. Yes, today's lesson did run a little longer. Get out of here. Jim Christmas. That's just the short version. Either way, I would love to go ahead and go through this dungeon, but I'm going to cut the part off right here, despite having to cut out at least a good um, 30 seconds or so of the introduction, because that is all practically either A, black screen, or B, Sony, and all that, Sony, and, or the PlayStation 2 symbol sh showing, but, um, yeah, I thank you guys for watching this incredibly boring part, if you watched it at all, but, um, yeah, in the next part, we're actually going to go through the first floor of Dron's Lair, or, well, not Dron's Lair but Divine Beast Cavern. So, until then.